Hello, and welcome to the Dungeons of Dreadmore once again. Um, currently, I don't know if you're able to tell this, but I am no longer in my old place. I am now at, uh, the place that I grew up in, uh, up in New York. Yay, I'm finally up. I got my computer set up, and I ran out of footage on uh, YouTube today, so I have no choice but to record. So... I wanted to record Thomas was alone, but I have the shittest internet here, so I'm dealing with more basic things. And I thought to myself, the first game that I have ever done on my channel was Dungeons & Dreadmore. So, not why not re return to it? Alright, let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, permadeath, sure. Going rogue. Um, because losing is fun! Elves just want to have fun. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's go with that. Um, oh yeah, something that I should mention as well is that uh, since I last played, they ended up creating mod support and they came out with a bunch of new DLCs for it. There's Realm of the Diggle Gods, there's You Have to Name the Expansion Pack, uh, Conquest of the Wizard Lens... Hmm. But, yep, uh, we're just going to be going with the... Uh, you know, uh, Realm of the Middle... Nah, let's, let's not do that because it's been a while since I played this game. All right. Now, they got a bunch more of uh, things since we last played. So let's go through here. Well, I always like to do close and far. Hmm. Let's see, what's this bankster? There's nothing an adventurer can't face with a bunch of derivatives, a... Diversified stock portfolio and absolutely no morals whatsoever. Hmm. Tourists, look, Martha, it's a dungeon full of quaint, folksy crafting items and charming native monsters. Populations. Let's go get the camera. Alright. Demonologist. Hmm. Emomancy. Well, I ended up uh, falling in love with uh, this one because you're able to use the anvil of Krong twice with that one. Learned that from one of my friends. Let's see. Blood Mage. Mm. Major spells. Let's see. Oh, yeah. They also got rid of a couple of things. But let's see. Uh, I like burglary. All right. Let's do that. Because it gives us uh, limited picks, I believe. Don't want dual wielding. Hmm. Fleshsmithing, Golomancy, Vampirism, Master of Arms. I remember liking Berserker. But let's try to... Piracy. Okay, let's go with Piracy. Egyptian Magic. Nor what the guy in the Astrology skill tree says. It's up to you to har harness pyramid power. Oh, okay, fine. Clockwork Knight. Alchemy. Eh, yeah, let's go with Alchemy. You could create potions and generally very clever and occasionally enjoying consuming large quantities of mercury. Oh yeah, that's true. Let's get rid of that one because I'm not a mage. Maybe I should go with tinkering. Because I can make my own weapons. But a lot of this is seeming very familiar, doesn't it? Battle geology. Like your geologist, you can create earthquakes, armor yourself in stone. Like all geologists. Okay, you can create earthquakes, armor yourself in stone, and petrify enemies. Warlockery. Warlocks and wizards that really wish they were warriors or rogues or chessmongers. Anything but wizards, really. Their spells, as they are, serve to make them less wizard-like in very ways. Hmm. Rogue scientists. No, you don't study rogues. Rather, you employ radical theories of cutting-edge... Thumbnanics and tinkering, wandcraft, and alchemy will improve your scientific attacks. Hmm. Wizards, only wizards can read them. Hmm. Somewhere. Alright. How about. Hmm. This is the hardest part of figuring out what you want to do. And yeah, let's go with Berserker. Alright. Done. And we shall name ourselves Jeeb. Yep, yep. 
Okay, loading up the dungeon. It's already been five minutes. Also, I'm playing this on a different system than I was before. Last time I was playing this on my uh, laptop. And now I'm playing it on a PC. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Alright, uh, let's see. Inventory. So, I... So, and let's see, character, there we go, it's all coming back to me now, so we'll put that there, alright, good, don't have to really worry about much, we got things to tinker with, we got a fedora, which gives us, oh man, this is so hard to tell what it does. What does it do? Oh, it gives us this. Critical chance. Gives us swiftness. I like being swift. And blocking chance, I think? Counter chance. Alright, not too bad. Essentially, all you have to do is crushing. Huh. All you have to do is just look for higher numbers, but it has to aid in your ability. And rogue, which is the... Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll come to that in a moment. Alright, let's see. Ooh! It's an axe class. Yeah, we'll keep it so that we can uh, sell it for later. Oh yeah, we can steal items because we're burglars. Okay. Actually, let's... Uh... Oh, that's as low as it could go. Okay, return to game. I just don't want it to be blaring in our ear. Alright. Let's get some arrows out, shall we? And we'll put it on our... There we go. All I have to do is right-click, right? Alright. All, all these things will make it so that I can craft them because I'm a tinkerer. Ooh. And I can spot them because I'm a thief. Alright. Ooh. Really good room for me. Okay. I can make that and that and that. Am I able to go through this door? Sure. Surprise, cockbags! And... Bam! Come on! C -c -c critical hit! Mm. Let's eat this apple that we stole. And then we can pick up these arrows. Diggle eggs. Good eating. Mm-mm. That's horrible. It's like... They're we're eating their children. Okay. Got that. Ah, cock my nose. Alright. We got a bunch of traps, so... What's this? Oh. There's another blade trap in there. Good thing we noticed it. Hmm. We don't have any abilities yet, but if we could t transport... I wonder if we can, uh... Let's see, is there anything that can allow us to... I think this one, Ninja Vanish, allows you to disappear into the shadow. Oh, it makes us invisible. Move in mysterious way. It's all right. You move in mysterious ways. Perfect for the... Uh... Okay, so that's one we could use. Mm-hmm. All right, these are skills that we can use, but I like to go with base skills first. Ooh, cash monies. All mine. Ah, burnt out wand. I could probably sell that. Uh oh. Alright, let's. Good. You die. Hello, Statue of Inconsequentia. Yes, I shall pray to you. The magical artifact, Crompo, the Gibbous vessel has been lost. Will you take on the challenge of finding it for the glory of a consequentia? Sure. Now I know that there's a damn it. Um hold on one second. I'm sorry about that. My counter was in the way, so I couldn't see where I was going. So if we look over here, we would be able to see it if it uh, appeared in an area that we've already been in, so. Up here is completely useless to me, so. I move the counter up there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Fraps has a little counter in it that uh, tells you how many frames per second you're getting. Alright, uh, well, we went all the way down there. How many arrows do we have? 18? We got plenty. We got plenty of health, too. Oh, oh, what could it be? 
What could it be? Oh, good. Took a long time to uh, detect. Wow, I'm pretty awesome. Take that! Yeah, you suck. A teleporting pad, hmm? Oh, that's easy. Okay, we stole a baseball bat. Uh, not a baseball bat. A baseball. Uh, tinker parts. Okay, fine. We can sell it. We got booze. We don't need them because uh, we're, we're not really... Hyperbolic potion. Huh, what does this do? It gives us piercing and block chance. Alright, um, might as well wear it. What is that again? That, that, that trap sight radius. Oh, well, it's good for me. Because I'm a burglar. Avoid them traps. Neutrality orb. Uh-ohs. Aw, shit, son. Okay, we're going to need something a little bit more. Oomph. Oh, man. Alright, leveled up. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Zelda reference. Hmm. So, let's see. When you attack, there is a chance that you'll become really angry. This increases your attack abilities. Hmm. Viking temperament. When you defend, there is a chance that you'll become really angry. This also increases your attack abilities. Well, that might come in handy soon. But I think we should increase our bases. Should we? Locked doors pose no imp impediment to your lucky pick. I see. Belongs in a museum. Oh yeah, I can take things uh, as special artifacts and send them in there and they, they give me monies. Um... Mecha Knicker? There's hope yet for a career in repairing. Hmm. Swashbuckling. You've learned dirty swashbuckling tactics from your time on the seas. Allows you to counter all of the next few attacks against yourself. Hmm. I'm going to build up a... Okay. She's around here somewhere. Oh, hey. Okay. I also remember now that... Uh, yeah, that's very nice. Alright. We got a um, bunch of metals and things. So that's good. Oh, she died! Well. A bee archer. Uh, No, no. Close the door. There we go. Now we can see. Ah, disposable. Okay, ingot press. Now we can smelt ores. So let's see. They also improve the uh, crafting thing, so you don't need to do guesswork, and I appreciate that. Okay, we'll craft that. Ooh, we can make uh, one of these. Up there. Craft. Let's see. Oh, we can make an omelette. You're missing craftables. Oh, I only have a certain amount. It only counted for... Okay. Hmm. No, 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 no. Okay, good. We're good. Let's go. Automatic sorting system powers activate. All right. Let's go this one. Now, if you don't know... Uh, what I'm doing or how I'm doing this. Uh, I I have previous episodes. This is a newer one. Okay. Little baddie. A little baddie. Mm, bam! I just killed a small person today. What did you do? That's just horrible. Okay, teleportation powers. And what's this? In your Inferpor, the jocular wheel. Hmm, what does that do? Ah! It increases a primary attribute of wizards, and that's a, a wizard attribute. Magical power. Like, I'll take it, but... Like, I, I don't need it. <gasps> Ooh, Anvil Krong! 
I think I gotta put skill points in order to get that, though. Let's see. Oh, no, it's K. Alright, let's see, let's see. Uh, remember your Charlemagne. Ancient Cron Cronian Ritual. Recharges an anvil. Oh, man, I gotta bump it all the way up. Sad thing is, the ancient Cronian ritual mainly consists of sitting around the anvil, moping, drinking beer, and complaining about why you can't get any ancient Cronian women. Hmm. That's very bad. You can prove that an artifact was not, in fact, what everyone thought it was all along. <sighs> okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it into the arrows, and then I'm going to bump up. But I don't think I have anything good enough for... Uh, Putting on the anvil of Krong, I think. Yeah, I just got complete shit, so. Let's see what I got in my inventory. I'm a swords... Yeah, I'm a swordsman. And... Mm, no... Crossbows. So, I'm gonna leave that be. Use it to improve something better. Ah, bucket. I could use it to put it on my head. Decreases my uh, roguelike ability, increases my defense fine, and lowers my sight radius and other things, so I'm not going to wear it. Native gold. There's a thingy over there. Uh, hey, how you doing? That's sneak ability, huh? I got some, uh, hmm, sandals. Well, I don't have anything on, so might as well wear them. Oh no, we're getting to the time limit. There's... Oh, what's this? A wooden... Bo oh, that's the thing that I... Okay, cool. Well, I guess it's fine that I uh, picked it up. Hopefully, uh, that dude doesn't... Oh, shit. Bam! Fuck you, diggle. Ah, oh, god damn it, it's death. All right. I'm calling that an episode here. In the next episode, we're going to be going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to death. Oh, it's a different form of death. Regardless. See you then. Bye.